Okay, we're back with the cantaloupe, but I have a confession. Welcome to Grow Preserve. I'm Carter, I'm thrilled you're here today. But very quick one for you today as my contribution to the Every Good Counts Challenge. I had a cantaloupe come in from the garden and I am going to make some cantaloupe jerky, very similar to the watermelon jerky made last week, week before last. Anyway, I love this as well. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a little bit easier to do than the watermelon jerky because I'm not picking out tiny little seeds. You know, I just scoop them out and you're good to go. So I am going to get this going and I'm gonna bring you down here so you can see how I'm slicing this. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice this in quarters and then get some smaller sections to work with. Start with this one. This makes a great, great snack. It's wonderful for road trips. You go to the movies, so you're not tempted to eat jujubes or any of those kind of things. So we just love having this on the shelf, especially in the in the winter when there's nothing fresh around, or if it is fresh, it's come from you know South America or something, and it's really no longer fresh. So I'm going to slice this up. Yeah, I'm going to do it with little chips. So I'm doing these about a quarter of an inch thick. Because they're smaller pieces, I'm gonna be a little more precise than I was with the watermelon. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, precise, okay. Well, close enough, All right? And then I have, as so I used with the watermelon, I have these little mesh covers here. And although I don't need it because the watermelon is going to fall through or anything, it is fantastic in that it keeps the dehydrator itself much cleaner. So I am just going to get these piled on here. And then I want to talk to you about what I have going on the next couple of weeks. I've been doing these videos daily, sometimes twice a day. And now we're going out of town the last weekend, August. So I'm going to try to get some pre-filmed but I all say before I can leave town, I have some little things I need to get taken care of that are things you have actually seen before. Uh, like I need to prep some tomatoes for the freezer so that I can do um, sauce and crushed tomatoes later. I need to prep some tomatillos for the freezer because I'd like to do a tomatillo sauce and I've got a few more of those I noticed this morning. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes. I think I'm going to dry those again. Um, I have a couple of full quarts of those done now, but I like them so much. So I think that's what I'll go ahead and do. And I have a couple little odds and ends like that, a few little pickles and things that I'll probably, eh, I don't know what I'll do. I may give those to a neighbor. And um, we shall see. I do have some things I'd like to get out of the freezer because as I, I think I told you in another video, I'm expecting some meat birds from a friend. Probably, I don't know, I think they live for eight weeks or something and they get processed. So eight to 10 weeks, I'm gonna need some room in my freezer. So I do have some frozen fruit in there. If I turn that into something wonderful before I leave town, I will bring you along for that. Hopefully I've got another five or six videos uh, for this month that I think should be fun, but I won't bore you with all the all the little stuff I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get all of this chopped up and into the dehydrator. It's gonna be, you know, it's anybody's guess with a dehydrator, quite frankly. You can read a guide and it may tell you 10 to 12 hours, but if there's high humidity in your house or if there's extra low humidity in your house or if it's a very hot day, or you know, what kind of dehydrator you have makes a difference. So it's all a guide. So when I come back tomorrow, I will do it on the end of this video and show you what I ended up with. I'll be sure to let you know how long it took in my dehydrator so that you have yet another guide uh, to try to figure out how long it's gonna take in your dehydrator. Okay, we're back with the cantaloupe, but I have a confession. I started eating it. <laughs> before I remembered that I needed to show it to you. So that is a quart jar. I I definitely had probably a little more than a quart jar before it dawned on me that, oh my gosh, I forgot to fill the last segment. So it's delicious. It's absolutely fantastic. But when it dawned on me that I needed to save this to show you, there was a school bus driving by and I thought, ah, 
what a fabulous snack this would make for the kids on their way home on the school bus. So I don't know, or when they get home or put it in their lunch box or whatever, it is just, it's divine. It really is. So I'm going to show you a couple of these and see what they look like. And they are pliable, but completely dry. And they are absolutely delicious. So maybe it's a great thing to have around for the kids. I know mine is not gonna make it into my long-term storage. Now that we started eating it, we'll probably finish it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do for the next week, shake it up every day, make sure nothing is sticking. And then at the end of the week, if I decide I do want to save it for long-term storage, I will vacuum seal it with a regular two-part lid. So I hope you enjoy this. Give it a try. You know, nothing else for your kids' snacks. It's so much better than anything you can get at the grocery store, all those packaged snacks, everything packed with sugar. Um, it's sweet, uh, you know, it's fruit, it's sweet. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I'm so glad you were here. I'm gonna recommend a couple of videos for you if you like this one, or if you wanna learn more about preserving, I will put those in there. And I am so grateful to be part of the Every Bit Counts Challenge because every bit is adding up. Although this may not make it to long-term storage. This is, this may not last the week. So I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here and we'll just keep on going. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll put up a couple of other videos you may like and I will hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.